Okay. Okay, so... Here we are, back playing some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. And guys, this game is so much fun. Uh, I did play a little bit last night. Uh, and uh, we got some things, so we'll just kind of go through. Uh, I got a shiny. I, I was roaming around last night, just in the wild, and I found a shiny Zubat. So uh, a Crobat is going to be on our team. So I'm excited for that. Uh, not a whole lot else happened. I did go through and collect a bunch of stuff. I did change the uh, costume I was wearing. Or I guess maybe not costume, but the kimono I was wearing. Uh, and I guess there's some Bidoofs roaming around town that we'll, we'll go after. But I've been having a ton of fun with this game. So we're going to go ahead and do some more story content. Oh, looks like the Bidoof got away. That's okay. Let's, uh... Let's go talk with Silene. While I was out and about just catching Pokemon, I actually went up another level. So we are going to be level 3 now. As soon as we talk with Silene here. So we'll go ahead and talk with her. And then we'll go do some story stuff. Alright, there we go. So let's jump up a rank. Hmm. You've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Ah, look at that. Three stars. We are three stars now. What does that allow us to do with this? Uh, you've officially gained the rank of third star. We can now use Great Balls. Awesome. Pokemon up to level 40 will obey us. And more rewards. Awesome. We also get Crafting for Great Balls. One Apricorn, Iron Trunk, and a Tumble Stone. I've collected plenty of iron chunks. And that's it. Okay, nothing else. So we can craft some... What? What? Alright, there we go. So we can go craft some great balls. We do have about 40 pokeballs still. But we'll craft some great balls before we head on out. Uh, but yeah, other than that, not a whole lot has changed. Uh... I mean, again, the team is our Shiny Zubat, Kalava, Scyther, Luke, Luxio, uh, Drifloon, and Buizel still, until we find uh, some other Pokemon that we want to use. We're going to head straight for the Heights Camp, as that is the closer one to where we need to be. And we'll see what we can do to calm down Cleaver. In fact, let's go ahead and craft... Oh, and I got uh, Feather Balls as well. So we can craft a couple of those. I'm going to craft three of those, because why not? And then, you know what? We're going to craft some of these as well. We'll craft like 20 of them. Uh, and then we'll craft like 10 Great Balls, because why not? Let me make sure I just have room for everything. We're going to... Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We'll put the Stardust into the item storage. Stardust is just nice to have. We're going to take some Orin Berries, too. That way we can just throw them at Pokemon. I think that's everything we really need right now. So let's go ahead and hop on Weirdeer here. And head on over to where we need to go. Now, I've gotten pretty decent at using uh, Weirdeer. You still take fall damage from it. That's not what I want to do. We wanted to collect some items there. Now, we aren't a high enough level to take out some of these Pokemon. Mainly, well, mainly that giant old Parasect over there. And I still haven't been able to get one of the enraged Pokemon. So, yeah, kind of sucks. But I did spend a good while trying to get it. Oh, I got to find a way to turn off those controls. That's why some of my throws have felt off. I don't think we can make it. Nope. There we go. All right. Uh, so we need to head over there. And the way to do that is going to be through there. Okay. 
Well, let's go ahead and run, I guess. Bunch of Standlers over here. Well, okay, let me just make sure we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, I think if we just follow it this way. We should be good. Now, the movement can be a little clunky, especially when you're running at full speed here. But we'll head on over here. This is where we failed to catch the, uh, the barrel yesterday. Or <laughs> Mr. Enraged. Soon. Soon we'll be able to catch it once our Pokemon are strong enough to uh to battle and not die in a single hit. All right, we made that there. So let's go talk with Lian. So you say the galaxy people came up with a method to try and quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. Yep, that's right. What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. That's right, my apologies. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy Team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister. As one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon with me and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then I'll show you Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. Alright, bring it on, Arita. Now, I did search for some more Eevees. Was not able to find any. And one thing I've noticed as well is our clothes are wet in the rain, which is just a little cool attention to detail that I like. Uh, I don't like our flying type going up against uh, the ice type here, so I think we're going to swap in Quilava. We'll let Quilava take on Glacian, but it is raining. It is raining as well, so our fire-type moves aren't going to do as much, most likely. Okay, Agile Style doesn't do anything. So I think we're just going to do a normal Ember. And then I think a strong one will work the next time. Unless Glaceon gets to attack twice thanks to Quick Attack. Okay, we're going to go ahead and Agile style the Ember here. That way we can move twice. And then we'll finish it off with a strong style attack. And down goes Glaceon. That wasn't too bad. I always forget that you can also run around during the battle as well. Couple level ups here. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand that Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Alright, so we get a heal there. Now explain to Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So yeah, we're just gonna throw them at him and and then battle him and then calm him down. 
So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up to try and quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms that of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these balms with our very hearts and souls. Okay. It looks like we're in for our first boss fight. So let's see what we can do here. There. A veritable mountain of balms. This should please Cleaver, if anything, can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Alright, I am ready. Are you guys ready? We are going to battle Cleaver. Leon is ready too. Let's go ahead and get this battle underway. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Bene benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Crosses. Keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Okay. Now, we did have some good practice against the Babarel and dodging moves. And I have dodged some moves while playing on my own. But this is a cutscene we've seen quite a few times thanks to the trailers. But it still looks good nonetheless. Well, hello. Lord of the Woods Cleaver. I'm ready. Okay, battling noble Pokemon or Pokemon nobles. To claim victory against noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you might be able to send your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble guards, noble's guard will stay down for a brief time during that window. Bombs will be more effective than usual. Throw as many as you can. I've got to adjust controls. Throw a Pokemon. Well, I guess we missed our chance to throw a Pokemon at it. Okay. We got the battle going. Okay, show Cleaver our power. Oh, boy. That hurt. Um... I think Buizel might be the best bet here, so let's get Buizel out to fight. What was Cleaver? I think it was a bug and rock type. So Buizel might be good here. Oh, I say that, but we're getting... we're It's getting handed to us. I don't know if we want to fight this. Okay, I think we'll just do a normal Aqua Jet, see how much damage it does. It doesn't let us know. Okay, Agile Style doesn't do anything. So I think we'll just do a normal one. But I think Buizel is also going to go down here. Yeah, okay. So Buizel faints. Oh, what else can we send in here? I guess we'll send in Luxio. Luxio might be our best bet. I just a lot of our team is weak is weak to it. All right, we can't get two attacks in, so I think we'll Thunder Fang here. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, I gotta 
try and change controls. Okay, let's see if I can change controls real quick because I don't want my controller to shake. Give me a second. All right. I figured it out. My controller shouldn't be spazzing now, which is nice. So now I can uh, throw without having to worry. I don't think we're going to engage in another battle with it just because we don't have the Pokemon to do so. We're just going to back away. That one hit us. Okay. We don't want to throw a Pokemon at it. We're just going to continuously chuck the bombs. Okay. I missed that one. I've learned his moves. So here we can throw until he does that. This one, we back away. I think we did it. I think we did it. Okay. Then one more bomb right to your face, Cleaver. And there we go. Cleaver has calmed down. Huge level ups. New moves for a couple of our Pokemon, too. Which is nice. And we received the insect plate from Cleaver. Nice. Alright, so we have the insect flute. Now, I haven't... Or not the insect flute, insect plate. I still haven't figured out what these do. Um, when used, uh, okay, when used on certain Pokemon, it allows them to gain power of the bug type. I'm going to try using that on my Scyther. See what it does. You got Cleaver running away. I can't wait to fight some of the other frenzied Pokemon. What, what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you asking me? I came from the sky. Well, this is what I think. After all we've seen, we know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. These bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into a frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the Strange Lightning, it, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power, right? Then, were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous! Calm yourself, Leon. Remember, the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. When Cro what Cross has accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Yes. Fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please, take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. A citrus berries! Ooh, nice, okay. Let me care for your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems as we've settled things here, though between you and me, 
I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. All right, that is a job well done. Are we able to enter Cleaver's domain? We are. But he isn't here. So we got to report back to Commander Kamado. And I think we're I think we'll fast travel over there because there is one other thing I wanted to check as well. Oh, we can just teleport all the way up to Grand Tree area now. Nice. That is awesome.